Yeah, what do you think? I didn't even do any Reiki on you today, I don't think. Not yet. You want me to do Reiki on you? Okay. I think you'll still have energy, so you can stand up. Keep standing. Okay. So, I'll put your chair here so you don't, so like it doesn't go. Can you stand here? No. Can you stand here? Stand here. Okay. Let's measure. Yep, perfect. So if you go here and all the way to here, it fits. Okay. Okay. So you can from stand here if you like, or, or you can here. go there. So that's your range from okay. from here to there. Okay, very good. The recording has started. Liz already left, and now I'm taking the place. <laughs> I'm taking your place. Sure, please. If Latish comes to ask more, to answer more questions from. People, I have that. Oh. I love the symbols. You did? Yeah, especially the one on the on the on the forehead. It makes a lot of sense. Snow and rain didn't make a lot of sense, but the forehead one is did. I am Santia. Hello, Santia. Nice to have you again. Thank you. I am designated to the one named Jim. Excellent. Welcome. And thank you for your welcoming. Do you have any specific topic or you just responded to our invitation? We are just here at the request of some others. Okay. So, Lakesh gave us nice symbols of their civilization, which we could use here on Earth. Yes. Do, do you have access to this session? Do you hear him speaking that? We have access to this, but I have not... Viewed it. Okay. So basically he described the symbols and gave the meaning for those symbols. And those were symbols of peace, love, friendship, uh, thank you, and uh, healing symbols. And we're going to make them into material drawings, uh, clothing, jewelry, and uh, standalone symbols made of material to sell it on our website. And this will also support our, our project materially, Jim and I, and the work on the website and the videos. Would you like to give us a gift of your symbols, which you would give to humans? Yes. When encountering a friend, we put our hands together like this. Do you see? Yes, what does it mean? That means we are friends. Like friends having hands together? Yes, I will grip their hand like this. What do you do with, with his fingers? Okay, perfect. Thank you. This is a friendship grip. Uh huh. This is a business grip. Business. We see and unite. Do you we understand? We see and unite. Yes. The hands come together, their hand against your hand, like so. Oh, so? This is their hand. So this, like that? Yes. We see and unite. Yes. Do you do handshake like, like we do? No. For love, uh -huh. there is embrace. In the way we do it? Similar. 
-huh. not much differently. For healing, there are symbols. These symbols. Is it hands or just symbols of you, how you would draw them? This would be how you would draw them. Two half moons? It would look similar. Uh -huh. What other symbols? Describe to me more of the healing symbol. What color would it be? Color? Yeah. We use many colors. Give us an example. Black and white? Not black. Red and white? Any color but black. Okay. For healing. So what does it symbolize? Why, why, why is it that? What do you explain it? This is the symbol for coming in imperfect. And this is the symbol for leaving perfect. Two half moons. Yes. But facing at each other. Yes. Does that make sense to yes. you? Uh, is a triangle a typical symbol for Sirius? Triangle is a very powerful symbol for us. What does it mean? It means many things. It's power. It can be a connection to God. It can be many things. But mostly it is a religious symbol for our people to recognize that God has much power. And this is one of the ways he shares it. Uh -huh. We also have a triangle as a symbol of Trinity. Yes. Do you honor Trinity? <clears throat> we honor what you would call one and many. Uh -huh. It would not just be Trinity, mm -hmm. but it would move out from Trinity to many. Mm -hmm. But in some ways there is a trinity that is honored, but not the same way that you do. Is there any church or religious tradition on earth which would carry the tradition of Syrians? There is some similarities to Perhaps the very peaceful Islamic religion. Like Sufism would be carrying the tradition of Sirius? Would be very similar, yeah. with some exceptions. I know that the Gon tribe in Africa believes they came from Sirius? Yes. Would their traditions be similar in any way? Their traditions have been humanized, but mm -hmm. are still having roots in the sky. Um, there are Sumerian tablets with images of their rulers. Are these in any way dressed as Syrians? No. I see. Do we have churches like we do? Uh, prayer houses where you can, can come to worship God? There are such places, yes. How do you build them? Are they similar to our churches in any way? There's much more symbolic stones and quartz and crystals. They're very majestic places with great power, with intention. We have shrines which are also full of symbols and stones, especially in India and Indonesia. Yes. Would it be similarly organized? Would they look similarly? They do not look similar, but they are similar in meaning. Can you give us some of your symbols which we could use? for worshiping God. One moment. 
Your jaw is taking in much energy. I hate to move it. That's fine. We can keep talking, right? Yes. Uh, did Jesus uh, help your ascension? His name was Yesen. Yesen. Wait a second. We have a sense on, on earth. Would it be continue, the same tradition, same meaning? Let me check. They call it Essenes. Ah, oh, yes. The very first believers. So the, your, the name of, your name for Jesus was? A son. So is there a connection or is it just a coincidence? In meaning, but it's a coincidence that a son is close to a scene. Okay. Uh, do you have a symbol for Jesus or for a son? Hmm. What does it mean? A son is king. Why? Why that? What does it mean? Two triangles? Two interlocking triangles, yes. And it is kingly? I do not know the origination of okay. the symbol. Okay. I just know that it is two pyramids interlocked, twice as much power as any you, human or Syrian or anyone that existed at that time. Excellent. Where do you use this symbol? When you enter the churches. Would you put hands like that? Yes. Would you hold it against your throat chakra? Against the heart chakra. Against the heart chakra? Yes. How prominent is it? Is it like 90% of time we would do that? Everybody would do that? Most people would, out of respect. So is Ascent still one of your highest respected uh, prophets? Yes. Is it the highest respected prophet? There are others. But he is most respected. Can you introduce us to your other prophets, if it is appropriate? Not at this time. One of our users asked a great question. Can you tell your story of creation? Our story of creation is very short and simple. Is your story, do you have a story like that in your culture? We know how creation started, so our stories are no longer valid. We have facts. Can you share those? I see no reason why it would be not permitted. Thank you. Energy was the first that existed. God, as you call, the one in the many. Energy always existed. Mm -hmm. Energy created other energies and was able to manipulate matter, created matter, and manipulated it. You call your Big Bang. It is not a Big Bang. It was an expulsion from the center of the universe, from the center of time, expulsion of creation. Does this make sense yes. to you? Yes, was it the first one or there was many of those? There was more than one, yes. Mm -hmm. We were created in the second round of expulsion. Mm -hmm. And now it is the second round? There are four rounds of expulsion. Oh, so you are that ancient. Yes. Is it the whole story? It is the story that you can comprehend. Thank you. I am imagining a movie where every alien race tells the story of the race. Can you briefly tell your story for us? 
say where from did you come uh, who created your species and how did you travel what did you achieve that sort of thing we were created by the energy that is one in many yes. and we grew up on the planets in Sirius around the sun of Ven. Ven? Ven. Thank you. And we grew into the fourth dimension many centuries ago. Mm -hmm. Our beginnings were like yours, except that our planet had no compulsion to flip over. Mm -hmm. And we had no changes of season until after the 13,000th century. Okay. 1300th century. Sorry. It's better to get the time ago in Earth years. How long ago in Earth years? A hundred and twelve thousand years ago. Thank you. Any wars, peace treaties, uh, invasions, travels to other expansions to other stars, that sort of thing? We were curious. We went to other stars, yes. Are you our ancestors? There is a portion of your planet that has our ancestry. Yes. Would it be uh, Arabian, Iranian, Armenian, and African tribes? Very close, yes. Which ones wouldn't have you? What would have the least of your? How about uh, Northern Europeans? Not Northern Europeans. Not having much of your... Design. No. Mostly Iranian, Iraq, Northern Egypt, all of Egypt, Northern Africa, Northern Africa. Thank you. How about American Indians, Australians? They are different. I understand. Thank you very much for your visit. Hey. It was great. I don't think Lakesh is coming back. I don't see him around anywhere. He can pop in any time. You know. I know, but I don't see him around now. So I'm not sure what he's doing. That was great. How do you feel? I'm okay. You look a bit tired. Yeah, I didn't sleep well last night. So I'll lay down now. <laughs> I'll, I'll volunteer to lay down. Maybe uh, Take can answer questions. Ah, Take is busy too. I don't know. Who then will answer questions? <laughs> if Lakesh is not coming, we invite someone who can answer questions of the, of the audience, mm -hmm. of the, uh, our friends on the side. So I am sure there is. I don't know why Bashar doesn't come. He normally answers questions. Ashu, Ishua is another great being which would be Yeshua and Playella are welcome and Arcturians are welcome so whoever wants to come we are welcoming them and obviously higher beings and angels archangels fairies oh anybody friendly yeah anybody friendly is welcome and remember we invited people 
who are responsible for the rehabilitation programs, we invite them to discuss switching from secret abductions to volunteer hybrid, volunteer in, for donation of genetic material with uh, fully informed consent. So we can discuss that. My weakness is music. Lakesh. Yes. Welcome. I cannot stay long, but I heard the music and I have a few minutes. Um, how about, can you sing us a song or read a poetry? I remember you didn't like singing your song, but how about singing something which is very simplistic from your plan? Oh, I do not like singing in this format. How about some more poetry? Okay. Let me see. I don't memorize all poetry, you realize. But you can look it up on internet, right? Well, I like to do my own. Of course. Is your poetry published? In the sense that people can read it, yes. See, very easy for me to find my poetry. Yes, I know, yes. All right. Death is the beginning of life. Life is the beginning of death. Sun is the beginning of darkness. And darkness follows the light. Colors are the expression of nothing. And nothing expresses these colors. The tempest forgives the peace, and peace reaches out to the tempest. Ah, the high brings itself low to make itself high again, and the low brings itself down to make itself low again. 
And within the thoughts of each creature, a gamut of light protrudes and sinks and shines and is covered. We know now that the sky is full of many, and many can fill a small sky, though in this world the skies are filled with dreams of becoming more human. Thank you very much. That's incredible. I am composing a book of poetry, just compiling whatever we channel through dream. Would you like to contribute more poetry to this book? Perhaps. Anything would be welcome. I see, I see. You're, you're siphoning out my poetry books. <laughs> yeah. See, I don't understand. I'm, I'm inviting donations. Can you donate your poetry for oh, yes, the benefit of Jim and I and the project? Yes, I understand what you are doing. I appreciate your, your interest in my poetry. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, why is Jim's nose always so itchy? Uh, thank you. But, all right, so I will give you more poems later. Is that good? Yes. What do you want to talk about now? I thought you had questions. Oh, wanted, yes, excellent. I thought there was a couple questions, and then I have to go. All right, uh, Brian. Do you know Brian on the website? He asks uh, his frequency, is he a hybrid, children, and was he abducted? These seem to be very common questions these days. That is most important. You is know, that def helps us to define ourselves. I ah. actually didn't believe when people told me they have, I'm Pleiadian. It took a lot of channeling to convince me that I have Pleiadian heritage. So ah, it I is see. very important for the heritage, obviously important. Uh, yes. If, if I told you that you have 17% of my DNA, would it change your life? Oh, I'm most assuredly, I'd be on a pedestal. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Brian. Brian. Yes, vibration, 4.1. Uh-huh. It was a little higher. It's a, it dropped a little. Mm -hmm. He does have one hybrid child. Yay! It is a male. Yay. Which civilization with? Reptilian. Ah. Is it abduction or it's their own creation? It was abduction, unfortunately. I'm so sorry. So it's one of those 20 which were abducted? Yes. And now they're imprisoned there. For how long he is, is he imprisoned? Well, he's not imprisoned at this time. He just was abducted, He's, but he's part, they didn't let him know that he was abducted, so when he was very young, he just became part of their society. Oh, so, so he's, a, he's a free individual? Yes, yes. In, so, uh, Brian, you can be happy about that, yes. Uh, what is the genetics of the child? They just took a small amount of Brian's DNA and put it into reptilian female. Oh, so it's largely reptilian. Yes, so it does not look much different except for the eyes. All right, so Brian, does Brian have a reptilian DNA? Shh, no, he does not. Any other alien DNA? He is slightly hybrid, though. Mm -hmm. Perhaps that's why they chose him. Mm -hmm is that he has a little Claire DNA in him. Claire, wow. Very small amount, 2%. Okay. okay. But that is unusual that they would have any Claire in you at all, so. Was it the recent infusion of Claire? No, it was not. It was and 10, sure. no, 20, no. 
Actually, well, what would you consider recent? <laughs> uh, you, you, you tell me. Ten years ago. It was oh. ten years ago. I, I was thinking that historically recent meaning two, three generations, or yes. ancient would be many Yes, years. it was ten years ago. Oh, it was infused when he was already... Yes, he was infused when he was an adult. Hmm. And it made a difference in his perspectives ten years ago. It might have been 11, but so I think it's 10. So these were reptilians which abduct him? It was... I'm not sure you could call it an abduction. Oh, but, but they were with him for a long period of time to do this. Was this Claire's or reptilians? Claire's. Claire's. Yes. Hmm. So he is a subject of Claire's right now. Yes. Does he have a choice to be with Claire's or with the Yale or any others? He has a choice to reject them if he wants mm -hmm. and go with who he, to unite with who he wants to if they choose to. Would you, would you recommend him to stay with Claire's? The Claire's are very n not well known. So I. As far as I know, they have not been very active lately, mm -hmm. which is neither good nor bad. So You could stay with Claire's until they offend you or hurt you, and then make a decision from there. All right. So Joseph, Joseph85, is our old friend. He is really <laughs> helpful. He has lots of experiences. And when we discussed... Volunteering for abductions, he shared his very painful experiences of taking, uh, you know, he was abducted and had, a, uh, I guess, semen extracted or something of that sort. I don't remember the details. It was a uh, yo abduction. yo mm -hmm. Yes, and this was a while ago. Mm -hmm. And yes, it was before they were aware of what what essence was in humanity fully, because they could not communicate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they looked at them as more animal-like species, like humans look at dogs I and know, cats. I know. I know. So it was not a, a fun experience, I am sure. OK. Any advice to his questions are sort of, I, you know, can you advise him anything? About Anything about aliens and... Uh, is he... Oh, I see. The experiences have really caused a little damage. Mm -hmm. And um, you, believe me to when I tell you, Joseph85, that um, there is a total different attitude toward abduction now and that if they, if you need healing from you, Yil, please ask for it. And the... Um, Arcturians will help them with your healing process. Uh, I'm sure Joseph is asking for healing. Yes. And more connection. Yes, that will happen. He asks, will I ever find my soulmate? This is a question with great relatives attached to it. But as far as I can see... He would appear to be already in contact with someone who could be considered a soulmate. Great. What is my mission here on this planet? He asks. What is your greatest love? And your mission will come from that. You have some talents in different areas, but I cannot see that you are moving in any particular direction at this time. Has he been interviewed? Not formally. He asks, what's it holding me back from being interviewed, and what changes I need to make in my life? The reason you have not been interviewed is up to the committee. However, I know in your case, that your abduction uh, has held you back from it because of uh, some of the things that they had done. But it could be overcome, and you could be still chosen at a later time. 
he asks if Alex Collier's information is accurate. You know Alex Collier? Just a moment. I do not keep it up with every single channel or, or spiritualist. But He's I, not actually a spiritualist, but he was maybe 30 years ago one of the most knowledgeable oh, people. Oh, he's from the older times. Yes. Of you consider older. He told amazing things about Billy Mayer and other people. And I think he knew a lot. I think he was very accurate. Please confirm us. How accurate was his... Uh, there are only a few videos of him on... Uh, I might be mistaken, but I think well, that, that's what who spoke about Billy Mayer. Like, he is business looking like person. I think. Do you yes. know Alex Collier? Yes, I have. Yes, yes, he is ninety eight percent accurate. Oh, really? Yes. Yay! Yeah, go look for Alex Collier on the, on well, YouTube. His talks are extraordinary. Ninety seven point eight nine percent accurate. What makes what difference does it make? It makes difference to some people. Yeah, no, you know, your estimate has plus minus twenty percent of error. How can you give us decimals? I can. No. Yes, I can. Give us uh, give us confidence interval then. Confidence interval? You say ninety eight percent plus one minus fifteen, that would be a confidence interval. Because you don't really know, right? Ah. Uh. I'm not sure what you're talking about. But I can tell you that he was 97.89%. <laughs> Let me explain. In our terms, our statisticians take your course of statistics, give you the, an average estimate and the range of 95% confidence. Say, yes. I'm 95% confidence, the real value is between that value and that value. Say, 92 to 99, I'm 95% confidence. Yeah. But if maybe there is a miracle and I'm wrong, then it could be even 50%. No, that's just regular logic. Yes. So you typically we report our results within confidence interval. 95% or 50% confidence interval. I see. I understand what you're saying. Excellent. I still hold to 97.89%. Plus minus what? Nothing. I am no... I am not, I'm not, it is all figured and factored, so it's done. <laughs> Thanks, like that. So our old friend Barbara, Jim knows her, she's one of our circle. Mm -hmm. uh, she asks good questions. Uh, I'm being visited by light beings and grays. Am I still being visited? Light beings and grays. Yes, you are. Do you know which Barbara I'm talking about? Is it Barbara Carlton? No, the other one. Oh, the other Barbara. Oh, I see, I know, yes. I'm sorry. She the is one which has problem hearing. Yes, I know which one it is, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, and she still is also, yes. Visited by light beings and the greys? More light beings now than greys. Which light beings? Uh, Federation of light beings. Oh, that's something new. Is Federation of Light being the same thing as Federation of Light? Yes. Well, that's just my added the beings on there. Federation of Light, yes. Oh, okay. But I think she means like non-physical beings. Light beings mean meaning non-physical, like fairies and stuff. No fairies are visiting her. How about... But light, enlightened beings are in visiting her. She may see them as light, though. Okay, okay. What what uh, race would it be? What culture would it be? They are calling themselves one culture at this time. So we would just call them Federation of Light. Great, thank you. Would they human looking be? Be human looking, males, females, that sort of thing. They are they are of all different species, but they call themselves one. So they can look very different from one another. Excellent. Uh, what species of greys is visiting here? Um, that was Yael. Oh, issue with Yael. Yes, because there is something that is interesting about her to the Yael, and it is within her female anatomy parts. Uh, is she a hybrid? Yes. Is she a long-term uh, abductee? She was. Yes. Yes. Uh, I don't remember if we asked about her hybrid children. Up there. I will talk to her about that. All right. And okay. 
let me go. Ringing in my left ear, she asks. Natural or artificial? Artificial. An implant? No, it is the frequency of more than one species coming together. They cause that ringing sound in the ear. Are the zetas or gray or yayil? Yayil accompanied, accompanied by some light workers also cause that. Wow. Who were the aliens outside of my friend's home in Grants Pass, Oregon, at night around 1980s? Oh, they, they were negative beings. They were very negative. A little miracle here. Next line was their energy was very disturbing. They were negative energy beings. Any they specifics? were re reptilian, but of a very unkind nature. Okay. Any name for those guys? Bad guys? I am not to name them. They okay. are not in this area right now. Excellent. Thanks for that. Uh, did they abduct my sister or myself? They are... Mm, it's being blocked. Ah, most likely yes. Why wouldn't they block if they wouldn't have? They're blocked? not around here. How could they block me? But it is no, being no. Blocked. How you know how it's normally happening? If it is blocked, that meaning the yell is blocking the information. Oh they, yes, that's meaning true. that uh, they are in negotiations with the bad guys, and they don't want to spill spoil negotiations by exposing them doing something bad. And obviously, if it wasn't bad, why would they hide it, right? I don't know. Of course, you you know. You're mm -hmm. blocked. How can yes. you know? <laughs> yes. My vibration level. Oh. Not mine, hers. It fluctuates, as you know, but hers is 4.6, 4.7. It's very high. How about confidence interval? I do not still understand by your accent. That, that, that. All right. All right. Uh, may I meet you? Love you. You may sometime. How can she meet you if you're on your planet? The same way she uh, meets you. He meets, I meet you. I meet you. OK. Uh, uh, do I and my sister have hybrid children? I've met her already, actually. All right. Oh, you met? You're right. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. Swap is our dear friend writing music. Uh, what is my frequency at this time? Lucky 2659 Swap. And he's, I think, is a neighbor not far from us. 4.7. Yay, 4.7. And he sounded very light and bright. Uh, have I been in contact at all? Not yet, but you will be. You heard it? How can I strengthen my channeling practice? I feel wonderful energies, but right at the edge I feel as though I have a blockage. Get out all those negative things that would hold you back from block, from channeling and also bring in as much white light energy as you can if you have the ability to channel what you do please please just open yourself but cover yourself for safety but open your mind and your your heart and move beyond your throat chakra thank you what does it mean when my eyes and cheeks twitch and flutter when I'm meditating. There is much energy moving in you. That's all. You are a high energy being. Your your vibration actually moves up from there very quickly. And Were the two moving stars I requested to see outside of my bedroom on Thursday night related to the Pleiadians? Well, partially, yes. Partially, no. They were related to more than one. 
But Pleiadian space, they were, you can attribute them to Pleiadian space, yes. But not just Pleiadians. Thank you. We have a new helper, uh, Heath, H-E-A-T-H, Heath. 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 Uh, have I had any contact? Is there anything holding me back? How can I give light to others, more light to others? Um... You are giving light to others. Continue to do so. As you give light to others, you you gain capacity to give more light. Does that make sense to you? Yes. You open yourself up for even greater giving and give uh, and enlightenment. You see, the gift of your giving is a, also a gift to yourself because you will also be opened up, and you. Uh, are being visited, but they have not really contacted you, but you have someone that is visiting you, and they may want to try to contact you, but they have not yet. What race are they? They are Pleiadian. A tall Pleiadian? They are the tall Pleiadians. Excellent. Lucky Heath. 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 Uh, he, so we asked more about you know holding me back, he says, and lied to others. What he means is, he ha I have two friends who are my brothers. And one of them is very open on his stuff and enlightened. The other likes certain messages and doesn't like a whole lot of other stuff such as channelings. Mm -hmm. I want to make people more open-minded about these things and not immediately shut them out because they think I'm, it's ridiculous or goes against what they believe. There will be confirmations that he will not be able to deny. And that way he will know that even if he says he does not believe, he is opening up to belief. He wants to believe, but he needs more proof. He wants to believe. He wants to believe. Keep that in mind. He wants to believe. Thank you. That helps. We have a new great friend. She already made excellent moves. She started by saying, Max, please, please, please tell them to take me. I can't bear this anymore. My family drives me crazy. <laughs> oh, well, you are Earth families. You drive so, each other crazy. I'm sure you have a part in driving them crazy as well. So, thank you. Uh, Fla <laughs> so, her name is Fluffy, and yes. she's from France, I believe. And mm -hmm. She introduced us to these people and now to a nice, young, very young, talented superstar a movie maker. So she has already do done great help. And one of her questions is, what's wrong with my family? How can I, you know, what, what should I do with it? You know, her family is, is as, as I said, driving her crazy. Ah, they're being, inter well, there is a couple things happening here. Negative energy is hitting fourth dimensional energy. That's always chaotic, right, at this time. Mm -hmm. um, the the energy, energies are not being properly f move, moved through the bodies. So what the first thing needs to be done is balance and harmony to the energy cycles in each of the people that you were speaking of, including yourself. You need to get your energy patterns in your body back into correct cycle and unblocked and your balance restored because otherwise you wouldn't, if you're saying, please take me away, your spirit is trying to escape as we speak now. Bring your spirit back into your body. Do you know how to do that? Be, do a meditation and bring your spirit back into your body so that it's not trying to escape. Because when it's trying to escape, it makes you crazy. Plus the fact that you can't make sense of anyone around you. So bring your spirit back for number one. Open your energy pathways, number two and you will become more balanced. Your mind will clear up and you will be able to see the energies that are moving and you need to clear up the energies within those patterns of your people that are around you because they're, they're really damaging your aura. Does that make sense to you? Um, so you need to help them 
find a way to um, straighten out their patterns as well. But first you have to do yours. You have to straighten out first before you can help them straighten out theirs. She seems to be on the computer very much. Okay. Uh, is it bad for her or is it good for her? It depends. There are parts of that computer that is bad for her, but when she does research, it's good for her. Excellent, thank you. Uh, is she hybrid? I cannot tell because she is not in balance and her energy pathways are not clear. So I cannot tell she is in too much chaos at this time. Um, I will tell her next time when she is in a more pure, uh, complete state. But her, with her spirit trying to escape, it's very difficult to tell. There could be some. I I sense that there is some hybrid, but I wouldn't be able to tell how much percent. Why do I keep seeing a face of a gray in lucid dreams and such? Is a gray trying to contact me? Uh, yes. And they're trying to tell you almost the same thing I'm trying to tell you now, is that you need to become more balanced. They're, they're interested in something in your family atmosphere, they are watching you. This particular gray is your guardian. Guardian? Yes. In spirit world? Yes. Not a physical being? No. Wow. And uh, was he Yael or other? He's your yell. Your yell. Hooray! Congratulations. Gisela, my frequency do have extraterrestrial connection as if yes to whom? Gisela. Say the question again. My frequency do I have an extraterrestrial connection if yes to whom? Oh, okay. Your vibration? Yeah. 4.2. Uh, and the vibration of Fluffy, I'm sorry, is it, is it easy to catch up her vibration? I cannot get Fluffy's vibration. Okay. Gisela, do I have an extraterrestrial connection? Yes. Which one? One moment. Syrian. Wow. First Syrian we meet. Is it a hybrid connection or else? Else. Spiritual? Yes. Past lives? Yes. Recent? Three past lives ago. Wow. Is she hybrid now? No. Okay. I'll stop here because she didn't ask those questions. And she says, Tula Kesh, thanks for speaking to us. You're so inspiring and your sense of humor is wonderful. <laughs> yes, there's some difficulties now. I hope those last few pieces of information were correct. Because I, there's been some interference. I Forgive me if they were, if they were not correct, the last two questions. That's OK. Uh, we need to move to Star Seeds Apprentice. I cannot do any more right now. Oh, that's fine. Thank you very much for the double edit. Oh, that was a rough exit. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Rough exit there. Whew. What do you want? How can I help you? Music? No, water. Water. Uh, oh. We made a rough exit.
much on him in today, or you want Oh, yeah. That, oh. that exit was bad. Ah. He didn't. There was something wrong. Okay. Let's see what we get here. Nice here, nice there. Oh, you want me to go? No, 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 you yes, okay. help me advertise my books. Okay. So, advertising my books. People write to us, write to me, asking tons of questions. And they ask, why the aliens, why do I fail alien interview? Or why didn't I, wasn't I interviewed? And what do I need to do? to get to the colonies. And my answer is read, do your homework, read the books. People ask tons of questions about hybridization and about hybridization program. My first book is largely about the hybridization program. It's called Celestial Science because it is science. I'm PhD in molecular biology and my main expertise is DNA and genetics, mainstream DNA, mainstream genetics. So how many more people who study channeling messages and who are experts in genetics can you find? Hmm. Zero. <laughs> Zero. Zero. <laughs> I'm the only one who studies channeling. So my book has lots of references. See? Tons of references. Like one page, eight references. Other channeled messages, books of Pleiadian channeling, Syrian channelings. Yael channelings, Bashar, most of the book is about Bashar. Who is great. Very condensed, very condensed. Bashar is very, very It's good. a thin book, but it is a condensed study of the messages. And most of the, what is the most important thing happening to us right now? Ascension and hybridization program. These are two of the most important things. The fact that the aliens take abductees and hybridize. And you guys have hybrid children up there, your hybrids here. This is the most important and most unknown part of our development. That book tells it all. What is the second important part? Is the structure of this physical reality that, that not that your body has a soul, but your soul has a dream, physical dream. Mm -hmm. And the key here is higher self. What do you know about your higher self? The half of the book explains what the higher self is, what is your ego mind, what's your physical mind, what's your higher self, how they connect it, what is the structure of spirits, what is the structure of incarnation. Can you incarnate into a dog? Can a dog incarnate into a human? Can you incarnate on another planet? Can other alien incarnate? Say, you always are a combination of your genetics, and of your spirit. Your spirit could have recent incarnations on other planets. Do you know that everybody on Earth had incarnations on other planets sometimes in the past lives? So that is very important and that's what I explain here. That book is a textbook. If you didn't read it... It's very good. And so if you didn't read it, most likely you don't know half of what's there. And when you read it, Oh, that's how it is. That's how, it's not my thing. It's just me putting things together in one book. It's textbook based on what Bashar teaches and other teach, others teach. Mm -hmm. So that's you know the background for that. Now, the what's the most important event in last year in human history? Contact. The creation of the colonies. Mm -hmm. The colonies have been created. I proposed them. We, Jim and I, were part in the cr creation of the colonies. We gave them not only the idea, how about we create the colony? We, I wrote that book. These are letters to my friend is due, saying that's how you create the colony. And he had tons of trouble creating the colonies. People, you know, first mistake they made, they took abductees and said, here is the task for you. Decide how you prevent the earth from flipping the axis and how you remove the money from uh, from the earth system. Abductees said, take us back. It's not the questions we, we can answer, right? So I had to explain to them how to deal with people, that you have to take volunteers and what questions they can answer for you and how to think about people, finding the people who can answer the questions they need to answer about the earth axis, about the money system, about the reconstruction of society and telepathy. So next thing, 
Yael were completely lost about our emotions. They didn't believe we have emotions. They didn't believe we, are, we can be good. They look at the humans, and they normally look at the top humans, like uh, our leaders, and they saw so much deception, so much evil, so much confusion that they just consider us animals. So Jim and I helped them to understand humans. When they took the colonists and found the ones which are capable of telepathy, taught them this telepathy, they were able to telepathically link to humans, and they realized a treasure trove of emotions, love, good intentions, and good beliefs, and all that potential. Until then, they thought we are hopeless. Now they think we are not possibly not hopeless. So this is one part of the book, huge part of the book, maybe third of the book, is developing the colonies, plans for the colonies, plans for the contact. Now, they asked me, how do we come here and do the contact? What is most important? And you know, they thought for a few weeks about a very important question, which color do they want to paint the sky for the contact to be more successful? <laughs> Which is silly. <laughs> Which is silly. But and, to and, them it had meaning. It and was, they decided they possibly would color the sky blue. <laughs> 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 so I had to explain you know, what they should expect from the contact, how they should run it. And my main advice was, don't force it on humans. Invite our leaders, our representatives, United Nations, because they are representatives, unite our celebrities because they are true representatives up there, and some of them will happily go, especially the movie makers. They will make huge money on making movies interviewing uh, aliens. So invite them up there, and it will be voluntary contact. Nobody yes. will be scared. Mm -hmm. And things of that sort. It's obvious for you and, and I, but this is sort of the book is design and the plans for the contact, which they are still designing, but much of that. So this book has been read by 20 million aliens, and it made huge influence on them, and it will make a huge influence on you if you read it. And next sort of the book, the last one is, all right, the contact will happen. The earth will shake, but will finally recover. After a few weeks, what will happen next? How do we actually use that positive momentum, the aliens which are coming into the open and helping us, how do we use it for fixing very sick economy, very sick culture, very sick brainwashing, very sick, everything is distorted. How do we fix it to live normal lives? How do we fix our money system, production, energy system, ecology, and all of that? And ideas are all in the air, but you know the key here is bad guys, conspiracies, theorists, Illuminati, military industrial complex, how the aliens can help us fixing that without actually dirtying the hands. They don't want to be responsible for our history. They want us to do things. They don't want others to do that for us. So how can they help us without taking the control, without telling everybody what to do? And that's the answer here. And I discuss a lot of different solutions. And the key here would be secrets. There is a lot of bad secrets. How do you expose them in a positive way to fix things? So you need to first find that secret information and then expose it and propose something non-secretive positive. Aliens can help here. Mm -hmm. They can help us expose some of the secrets, not all of them. So how humans can take charge and move forward in exposing the secrets and healing a very sick situation. So one book and you know, two books, you can buy them on Amazon or on my website, our website, humancolony.org, which I run and yes. I program. And uh, thank you for all your help. Thank you for helpers. Thank you for members of our site. Thank you for the ground team members, for administrators, and people who uh, do the support, participate in the discussion, and actually ask their questions and share their lives in different posts and on the videos. Thank you very yes, much. Yes, thank you very much. It's very enlightening and encouraging to have people get involved with what we're doing, and it's it's a beautiful thing. I like it. It's it's really encouraging for us to move on.
Thank you very much. <laughs> Any more announcements? Visit our shop and uh, help us to design new products now. We got the symbols. Let's make them into something which we can sell on the on. We can sell and it will actually support the site right now is is uh, in negative balance. Basically, we okay. invest a lot of our time. We need to wait to live. You know that Jim is doing personal channeling sessions. He is almost fully booked, you know, as much as he can do channeling every day. So uh, contact me and you will sign up for the future. And he now charges $45 per half an hour and typical session is about one hour, so it will be $90. And you know what he's doing other than that? He is doing cows cleaning and cleaning the cat poop. So his business should be called channeling and cleaning. <laughs> yeah, cat can poop cleaning and channeling. So that's what he's doing. Yes, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm doing some cleaning on the side as well because that's how we live. In the summer? We what, have to support ourselves. What did somewhere. you do in the summer? I did landscaping in the summer. And what did you landscape? You also cleaned some poop on somebody's yes, farm. Yes, yes, yes. I, I'll clean your poop if you need poop cleaned. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, so, the store is to support, you know, we need a way to move forward. Also, yes. we now have the movie projects. If we have a little bit of money, we can do much more. First money, we would help get help transcribing the messages and get the message out. And a lot more can be done, especially in videos and expanding, expanding yes. the message. Yeah, and we need a little support to help support the world, so. Yeah, right now, <laughs> we are broke, we are broke. Yeah. I don't know how we will pay the bills. We basically don't have a way to pay the bills. And it's expensive to live in America. It's at least, you know, $1,000, $2,000 a month. And I have a family to support. Uh, donations are welcome, but now we have a new way to donate. Just buy something on our side there. And everything on, on, on the, in the store, I highly recommend. We now have incense. These are amazing, amazing. Asset incense is done by, by my friend. He, I'm PhD in molecular biology. He is MD, official United States medical doctor. And what he's do, do, doing in free, free time, he creates burning incense. So normal incense, you would take a stick and burn it, but it has nitrate to keep, keep it burning. Really what, what you normally would do, like in church, you would burn charcoal, and on charcoal you put a little bit of that burning incense. That's real burning incense, and that's much healthier. But also you can do electric burner, and I'm sell selling electric burner because it's healthier. It doesn't produce that smoke. It does just produce a smell, nice smell, but not the smoke. So that is an ancient Egyptian recipe, which was recovered from ancient stone somewhere in Egypt. And it's based on uh, um, kaifi. Kaifi is the ancient Egyptian uh, incense made of raisin, honey, and... Uh, and frankincense and mirth and other things. And that uh, asset is after Isis Egyptian goddess made by my friend Jeremy. And it's, it's, it's the best, I tried hundreds of those. It's the best ever available. It's amazing. Uh, you have to have a, either charcoal or electric burner to burn it. So get it on our site and I posted a few other Excellent. So sun and sense is amazing. It's my second favorite. And Kaifi is in in their Coptic church. They keep the tradition from pharaohs. Since the times of pharaohs, they still have that. Coptic church has some of that tradition. In the morning, they burn frankincense. In the evening, they burn, they burn Kaifi. And Kaifi is that is, you're asking, give me something for meditation. That what you use for meditation. They use burning and sense. It gives you olfactory cues to center you and balance. It first it binds you to physical reality. It grounds you, and also it binds you to higher levels. So you sort of connect energetically to lower levels and to higher levels. That what gives you incense is what helps you to meditate and purify yourself. You can. It doesn't purify you, but it gives you a tune, a pure, well-balanced chord of things, a molecular chord of things, chord of olfactory cues, and you can meet this frequency and become more pure, and it helps to stand tuned to your meditation. So 
Burning incense is one of the main components of meditation. That's what people did in all times. I guess that's the good beginning for the... So the store is up and running since last night. Okay. And welcome to the store, buy things, and big part of that will help me and Jim to, to run the site. And you'll get your perfect incense. I really love this. This is... When I come to other places, and you will witness that, Reiki group, other groups, I ask if anybody is allergic to incense and if everybody, if everybody welcomes, I turn my, on my electric burner and people say, oh, where did you get this? And I say, yeah. oh, Jeremy, do you know Jeremy? Yeah. And he, he is also one of us. Mm. He came to my abductee support group, alien abductee support group. He came to us and officiated. It was a feast he, we, we burned this incense, he, he told how he came with the idea, where he learned it, and the next incense, so we did a little bit of that, a little bit of that, a little bit of that, and as I said, Sun and Kaifi are best ever. You can buy, buy anything better than what Jeremy does. And I think he's actually very popular. He gets thousands of popular, uh, excited reviews on, on, his, uh, oh, good. Uh, on his store. Thank you for watching and listening. We'll Thank do you. the own meditation. Thank you. Uh, I guess we'll again send our uh, prayers and our intentions to this dude's team who is helping Earth with uh, bad weather and excess wobble. We and want very busy. to very busy. join us with OM. Make that sound in your mind or with your vocal cords and send intentions to balancing the Earth and giving it healing. Yes. You start. <laughs>